you know them and then suddenly like you see their nipples and it's like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. So nipples. Nipples. <laughs> nipples, yes. We all have that friend that has like puffy nipples, you know? No, we don't. <laughs> Lauren, we're, we're not, not in this. this. We all have that friend who has those like puffy nipples that kind of look like fingers like moving. Oh! <laughs> when someone has like furious nipples that uh -huh. are like crawling out through the shirt, you call them- Crawling? What a gross word. Who knows point. where they're gonna <laughs> point? <laughs> but when that's happening, you call them grapes of wrath. I really don't want to think about it. Is there like, is there a, like, are there's a color scale. Okay. I like I'd really say like burnt it. umber to like true that's purple right. like somewhere in the violets the color range of the nipples like it's always a surprise to find out like what color someone's nipples are sometimes you're like oh this person definitely like has like this color like they have like the pink ones and then like they like take off their clothes and it's like there's like brown like dark masses like nipples and dark it's, like, masses it's, like, scary. it's like the like, black hole yeah. okay i don't know if this is a thing for guys but definitely for girls like pepperoni nipples like where it just takes over. I like, I know it's been voiced before, but I'm not really into like pepperoni nipples. I kind of have pepperoni nipples. <laughs> I don't know if this is appropriate. Lauren's saying the bigger they are, the more pepperoni they get. I don't know about that because I've ordered a lot of pizzas and that's not always true. Let's just say, I'm just gonna say. They like sometimes get like invert. <laughs> like Lauren can actually like make her boobs a different shape. It's really, it, it, I used to have I a video can. of it at prom. I was like, do the thing, do the thing. And I was like filming and you were like, okay. And they like went like this, but she wasn't like pushing them with her arms. Like they change it. It's like they have rock hard pecs. Who has like the best nipples that you know of? I haven't seen that many nipples, honestly. <laughs> There's like celebrity nipples. Like that you're I like, you're okay with yeah, it. Yeah, like definitely. Like the last couple concerts I've been to, <laughs> I've gotten some major nipplage action. When we went to the last Shadow Puppets concert, it's like, Miles Kane like took off his shirt and it was like nipples and it was like uh-huh Alex is definitely more um conservative in some ways with his dress Miles though totally got to see his pepperonis if you know what I mean <laughs> they know what you mean <laughs> good seats when you can see the performers nipples That's looking at you through their shirt they're just like staring at you <laughs> they could put like googly eyes on there sour skittles was another term where like when a guy takes his shirt off and they're like really like shrunken and wrinkly <laughs> i don't know i feel like you guys have like more nipple experience or something <laughs> it's, yeah it's not what you think it's literally the fact that guys just take off their shirt all the time and yeah pull it so you can see their nipples i know at my work like there's definitely people whose like nipples like show through their shirts and it's like like I know the specific size, shape, and consistency of all my male friends' nipples. I guess you guys have like so many guy friends because you know <laughs> no, girls don't, don't normally just like rip off their <laughs> shirts and like show nipples. Oh, like in Friends when like Jennifer Aniston doesn't wear bras, it's like people like make a scene where it's like she's not wearing a bra, like oh put on a bra, blah blah blah, and it's just like you wouldn't be commenting if it was like. Guy at work, so oh, like puffy nipples, like I coming comment. through. I make many comments. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>